All right, guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to have an introduction to using the shell or the terminal and your Linux distribution. All right, so on my desktop, I actually have a shortcut to the terminal, but maybe you don't on yours, so you can easily search for it. It's usually gonna be called terminal on almost every distribution of Linux. So let's just search for that. And to make this bigger and easier to see, I'm going to enlarge it. And um, I did that just holding control shift and pushing the plus key. All right, so this is the shell. This is essentially the, the core of the operating system. Uh, this is where um, everything's happening essentially in the background. Um, for example, if you did not install the graphical user interface on your uh, distribution of Linux, you would only have access to the terminal. So I would like to go over some of the basic commands and how you can move around the file system here. So a very important command is called ls. And ls basically allows you to list files, list um, directories, uh, list hidden files, um, and the cool thing about all the commands in Linux, they all have a very um, detailed help page. Oops, sorry. And this displays the full documentation for a command. Also, um, oh, what I just did there to make everything disappear, I typed clear, and that will go ahead and clear out your window for you. So that's something you will probably find yourself using a lot. And uh, what I wanted to say is, um, a extremely important command that you'll use in the shell is called man. It's short for manual. And almost every application that you can run from the shell will have a manual or a man page where you can read through the full documentation and learn how to use it. For example, if we were to do man ls, uh, you see it gives us the full name and what it does, list directory contents, a description, list information about the files, the current directory by default, sort uh, entries alphabetically, if none of the, and these are the uh, switches you can use, or arguments to the command, or sort is specified. And it tells you what the mandatory, ar uh, excuse me, mandatory arguments um, that you can use in the short options as well. For example, so we could do an ls-a or dash all, and we'll, it'll allow us to see um, hidden files. And it's worth mentioning in Linux and Unix, hidden files um, have a name that is appended with the, um, excuse me, prepended with a uh, period. So we can even create some of those. So for um, another command that you'll find yourself using a lot is um, mkdir, and this basically makes a directory. So we'll make a directory here called example. Um, and also something that's very cool about uh, the terminal here on Linux, you can push up on your keyboard to go to your last command, and you can keep pushing up and you'll scroll through your history of commands. And you can push down to go the other direction. So let's go ahead and uh, change directories to that example directory. And we'll use the command called cd, it's short for change directory. Here we are, so now we're in our new directory that should have no files in it. We'll verify that with the ls command. And um, some other, uh, another extremely common command you'll find yourself using when you're moving around the shell and you're dealing with uh, files and directories is uh, it's called PWD and that shows your standard path and as you can see we're in slash home slash cam slash example so let's go ahead and uh, create a hidden file and as I said um, in Linux all hidden files start with uh, a period and a command we can use to create a empty text file is called touch So we'll do touch test file one. And then we'll create another file that is not hidden called test file two. 
and another test file called test file three. Now if we use ls, notice how we can only see test file two and test file three. That's because test file one is hidden. And so if we are to use ls with the argument of a, like so, it will show us the test file one, the hidden file. And then it's worth mentioning, you see these two dots. This means um, the directory higher than the current working directory. And the working directory being the directory we're currently in. And one dot here by itself means uh, our current directory. So for example, if we were to type ls dot slash or just dot, it's the same thing as just doing an ls because we're in the same directory. So this is, uh, remember, this is just a basic introduction to the shell. We'll get an opportunity to play with a lot of stuff later. Um, but I, the commands that I want you to remember for now are going to be ls, cd, that, and also if you tell um, the shell to cd with no arguments, it will cd up a directory. So that's what happened here. So we'll cd back into our example directory. Um, and then the make directory, or mkdir. So we'll play with that again. Um, we'll make nested example directory. And it's worth mentioning, when you type a command here, um, in case you don't know, for example, I'll type ls, you send the command to the interpreter by pushing enter. So if you just type a command and you don't push enter, nothing's actually gonna happen. So like I said, this is a brief overview. Um, the most important commands to remember are this ls, cd, mkdir, and then the man page or the manual command. So you can see the man page for any other type of command. For example, we'll look at the manual for CD. Oh, CD doesn't have a manual, that's weird. Uh, let's look at the man page for uh, touch. Touch, change the file timestamp. Update the access and modification times to each file and the current time. Yep, so that is the introduction to the shell. Um, we'll dive a little deeper into what we can do in the shell, um, how we can interact with files. Oh, actually, before we end this video, there's another thing I wanna show you. Um, in Windows, you have what is called a shortcut, and that's basically you can like create a shortcut and place it on your desktop. Um, the equivalent in Linux is what is called a link. And in order to create a link, you'll use the ln command. Um, and you see it complained because we didn't give it any options. But here, let's uh, let's take a quick look at the man page for ln. Make links between files. You give it um, the target where you want the link to be, and then uh, the link name. So let's uh, let's play with that quickly. Um, let's see what files we have here. Let's do ln nested directory and we'll call it this is our link. Oh, and it's worth mentioning uh, in order to create a, a link for a directory, you have to do what is called a symbolic link. And um, we can get a little more into the difference between a symbolic link and a hard link a little later, but just for the sake of this exercise, I'll create a symbolic link. And if we do an ls um, dash l, and ls dash l lists everything in a, in a nice list instead of in a formatted list, basically. And so you can see we just created our link file here. And in Linux, you'll always have an arrow um, pointing to the actual file that the link is pointing to. It's kind of like a pointer. Yeah, so I'm sure that was probably a lot to digest for this video. We'll go ahead and end this here, and then we'll come back a little later and we'll do some more interesting things with the terminal. 
Thank you and bye-bye.